Hey guys, today we're going to be doing an updated cube collection video. So let's get right into it. Okay, this time on this collection video, it's just going to be me and not my friend Andrew. These are all my cubes. I have over a hundred, so I'm just going to try to keep it short. Let's start out with the cubic puzzles. Okay. First puzzle, um, not really a puzzle, it's a one by one from the cubicle. It's really good, it's weighted, it turns amazing, it's corner cuts awesome, and it's it's my main one by one, it's amazing. Next we have a Rubik's brand two by two with like a weird sticker scheme. Um, just never get a Rubik's brand two by two, it's so bad, it's not, it's just terrible price for a terrible cube, just never get one of these, it's just bad. Now we're getting actual speed cubes, we have the Cyclone Boys 2x2. This thing is super cheap and super awesome. It turns really fast and it's just overall an amazing puzzle. Um, you can watch my best 2x2 video to learn more about this puzzle. It's amazing. It's my friend's main. Even though it's stickerless. Then we have this Shangshao Unflory modded 2x2. It's not bad, but it's kind of obsolete to today's Q or 2x2s. Um, it's smooth and stuff. It's not that good though, since it can't really reverse corner cut at all. Next, we have the Dian 2x2. This was my main for the longest time. Um, and then I learned that Dian cubes don't know how to not pop, so I'm just gonna not play with this that hard because it will explode. But it's amazing 2x2. All the best people use it. But it's just not for me. Then we have a Wit 2 version 1. I'm never going to get the version 2 because people say that's just a terrible cube. And this one is very good. It's just, it's crunchy and it's nice. So if you like really crunchy cubes, definitely pick one of uh, these up. They're amazing. Uh, I would actually use this as my main, but I have another cube that I like to use. Then we have a Mo Yu Ling Po. Probably, in my opinion, the best 2x2 two two on the market. Um... It's not my main though, um, it turns really good corner cuts, it's really smooth, it's like a mixture between the Diane and the Wit 2 version 1, but it's faster than both. And then we have my main, the Fang Shi Shi Shuang 55mm, I really like the size of this and it, I, I just get the best times on this cube. Um, you can watch my failure sub 4 um, average, that was really disappointing, but this is an amazing puzzle, it's smooth and fast and it does everything that a 2x2 should do. Okay, now we're going to get into 3x3s. Quite a few, and I'm definitely getting more, so don't like expect like me to stop with these videos. This is my original Rubik's brand. I have a video on this, so you can search that up on my channel. Um, it's a really, really fun puzzle to play with. It's original Rubik's brand. I kid you not. You should watch the video. And you can do amazing algorithms with it. And as you can see, it's super worn out because I've done so many solves on it. Then we have its brother over here, the Rubik Speed Cube. This is not a bad cube at all. It turns very fast, very smooth, and it corner cuts like 45, but sometimes it pops. But yeah, definitely get one of these just to complete your collection because it's a pretty good cube. Okay, then we have this bad DN Shang stickerless cube. It's like a Goo Hong knockoff. Um, it pops really easily and it's not very fun to solve and I'm missing caps of it. Um, but yeah, it's not very good. And the orange and the red are like terrible shades. They're so close together. But yeah, I mean, it was probably good when it first came out. Then we have this. This is the biggest Zanchi knockoff there is. Here's a piece of it. It looks exactly like a Zanchi. Um, but that's not a bad thing because, um, a Zanchi is a good cube. And, well, um, this cube, um, doesn't beg to differ. It's amazing. It turns good. It's just a knockoff and it's kind of clunky and... Doesn't feel as good quality. And then now we have my stickerless Dian Zanchi. This is a very good puzzle. This one's very good quality, but it pops because it's made by Dian. And, um, yep, um, it's pretty average. It was my first, actually, second speed key. My first speed key was like a Shangsha win, but I gave that to my friend to use it at a competition, and it broke and we lost a piece. So, yeah. Then we have my Fang Shi Shuang Ren version 2. I've had, this was my main for the longest time. It served me so good as a, like my first like main speaky. This is what I competed in uh, Carnegie Mellon uh, Fall 2014. This was a great puzzle. It's fast and was my main for the longest time. And it's, mine's really good. I don't know about anyone else's, but mine doesn't corner twist or anything. It's really good. 
Then we have a Gans version two, Gans three version two. Um, this used to be my one-handed main, but it's not really anything anymore. It's just a regular cube I just have because uh, I just have it now. It's okay. It's not the best cube, but it's still pretty good. Then we have a black Gans 3 version 357 millimeter or whatever you want to call it. Um, this thing's really good, but I also have a primary one here. And this one, these are the cubes I'm giving away in the competition. Even though they are open, but that's actually a good thing because you can get, um, they're all lubed and stuff, and they turn much better than they did out of the box. Um, this one does turn a lot better than the other one because I think it's made out of a different type of plastic than this one. This one's, like, crunchier and, like, not as fast as this one, but they're both still really good puzzles. Okay, then we have a puzzle that looks a lot like those, the Ukes in 3x3. Um, it was really good out of the box. I just recommend that you don't lube it because when you lube it, it gets super slow and it's not as good, but it's still pretty fast. I mean, I'm probably going to clean it out and then try to lube it again, but, um, I might make a video on that if you guys want that comment. Um, but yeah, it's a really good cube and, uh, it's, it's relatively cheap. Speaking of relatively cheap cubes, this is a Shangshao Wind. It's also kind of like a Guhong. But it's not. This was like my first speed cube, but I got another one. Um, surprisingly, it's actually pretty good for not having any flooring cuts in it. So, like, it doesn't really reverse that well. I mean, it does, it can reverse, but not that good. It'll lock up on solves. And then regular corner cutting is pretty good. But this is a really good puzzle for like $4. Um, I don't know if it's up with the Guanlong, but it's definitely um, worth it if you want to complete your Shangshao collection. Then we have this one. This is a key bullfight. Now, um, this cube is actually great. This would definitely be my main, and it might actually take over to be my main. It's the same thing as the New Island Phoenix, which is J.R. Cuber's main. Um, if you haven't heard about the controversy, this is the exact same cube as the um, New Island Phoenix, or the New Island Phoenix is the exact same cube as this. It's all controversy, but the stupid part about this cube is it comes with a weird color scheme. It doesn't go um, green, red, and then blue. It goes blue, red, and green, which is really stupid. So I'm going to have to get that color um, scheme changed. So I'm getting new stickers for it, but this cube is so good. Definitely pick this up. It is, it's, it's like an owl. It's faster than an owl along, and it's like, it's so good. It's such a nice puzzle. Then we have my backup main, the Mario CX-3. This is a very good puzzle. I really enjoy it. It's very loud, so you can't really take it to public places. Um, the only problem is that it pops if you do extreme corner cutting, and it'll corner twist from time to time. But it flows with my algorithm and turning style um, very well. It's a really nice puzzle. I really like it. It's kind of expensive, though. Then we have one Guanlong and two Guanlongs. This one is out of the box quality, and I haven't done any lube to it or anything. It's kind of crunchy, and I haven't really tensioned it at all. And this one is the lubed one. They kind of feel the same, but this one's like faster and feels a lot smoother than this one, which is kind of sandy. They're both amazing cubes for being $4. You can check out my all YJ 3x3 video to see about these puzzles. They're really nice. And also, this is my one-handed main because it's slightly smaller. It's like 56 millimeters, so yeah. Next, we have the YJ Sulong. Um, it's a really good puzzle. It's just an average 3x3. That is how I would state this cube to be. It's average. Doesn't really have anything special about it. Then we have a YJ Chilong. It's kind of the same thing as the Sulong. It's a little bit smoother and faster. A little bit better in my opinion, but, um, they're kind of just average cubes. Then we have a Yulong by YJ, and, um, this one's a little bit of a different feel. It's kind of, like, smoother and a little bit faster, but, um, so it's still kind of an average cube, but it's better than those two. It's a pretty good puzzle. And then I have a Moyu Dienma. Surprisingly, this is a lot better than I thought it was going to be. It's a little bit slow, but, um... Yep, just an average type of puzzle, except for the layers being squished. And, um, the edges don't have caps on them for some reason. But, um, it's a pretty good puzzle. I only have two Moyu cubes, so I'm definitely getting a way long and a wall long soon. Um, then I have, this is my main for right now, the Moyu Allen version 2. It's so fast, and it's so smooth, and it's corner cuts just how I like it. The only problem that I have with this puzzle is I can't do it to the, I can't turn it to my full potential, as it 
can pop on my tensions because my tensions are extremely loose as you can see but that's how I like all my cubes basically I have two more 3x3s over here and they're both mini 3x3s so we'll just do this this is a mini Dian 3x3 it's a 50 50 millimeter so it's the same size as in any 2x2 as you can see I'll just get my Dian here it's the same size as it, and it's um, it was gonna be my one-handed main, but it didn't really work out. I don't really like, it just doesn't turn good enough to be my one-handed main, but it's still a really good puzzle. It just feels like a Zanchi. And then we have my little Rubik's brand cheat keychain, which I took the keychain off of them. Mine surprisingly turns pretty good. It's, it's pretty fast. I mean, it's not like I solve it all the time or anything, but yep, it's just a little fun puzzle. Okay, now we're gonna get into four by fours and then just go up to higher layered puzzles that are still cubic. So first we have my Shang Shao four by four. This was my main four by four for the longest time and it's still amazing. I don't know, I didn't even mod this and it can like corner cut like really good and stuff. Like both directions, it's actually really good for all types of turning and stuff. I still get good times on it, it's really fast. Then we have the Yuxin three by three. Um, Outside layers are the best I've ever felt, probably. It's close to an Alsu, um, but the inside layers are what kills this puzzle. It's just, the inside layers are just so slow, and I don't know. It's not my main. It's not going to be my main, but it's a good puzzle for very cheap. It's only like $15 less than that, and it's really good still. Okay, now we have the my main 4x4, the Moju Alsu. This is a great puzzle. It's fast on both the inner and outer layers. Um, I can't complain about this puzzle at all. It's super good. The parody algorithm flows. Oops. <laughs> Very good on it. There we go. It's really good. Definitely pick it up. It's kind of expensive, though. Two 5x5s. The Shang Shao 5x5, which is right here. Um, obviously, I've had this. This is my first 5x5, and this is my main, and I used this in the competition I went to. This is a uh, pretty good 5x5. Um, it just pops and locks up, but it's still really good for the price. Like it's like less than fifteen dollars, maybe even ten dollars. You can buy it for super cheap. And it's definitely a good puzzle to have. Then my main five x five, this bad boy, the Moyu Huachuang. Um, it's really expensive. I don't know. Just if you have the money, if you have forty dollars to drop on a five x five, then you can buy it. But um, it's pretty expensive. But it's really good. It doesn't really lock up and it can corner cut like. Sometimes it'll lock up like that, but it can usually corner cut through it. Okay, six by sixes. I have two of them, and they're both Shang Shao, but this one's completely destroyed. Um, so I made like a weird sticker scheme out of it, but um, it's destroyed because the Shang Shao six by six by six is awful, and it doesn't turn good. And I will never speak you this puzzle ever again. It's just to have to have. It's just slow and suckish. Then I have a regular size Shang Shao seven by seven. Um, it's really fun. I don't really speak cube this, but uh, it's my main, I guess you could say. It's really smooth, and everything about it's pretty good. Oops. And then we have my 8x8. This was my favorite puzzle for a really long time. Um, it's really smooth. Mine's kind of scratchy because I kind of oil all the lube out of it, but it's really nice. It's definitely a fun puzzle to solve. It doesn't take uh, too long to solve, but it still takes like, a long time. Hey, 9x9, nine nine. really smooth on the outside layers. This thing is the smoothest puzzle ever on the outside layers. Um, but these inside layers are like, okay, they're not the smoothest. But again, it t this is where it starts to get long to solve, and I just have it to have it. 10x10 ten by, ten by Shang Shao. This is the smoothest puzzle I own. The outside layers and the inside layers are just all so smooth. Um, yeah, this puzzle takes a really long time to solve, and it's awesome. And it's massive. Then we have the 11 by 11. Oops, I keep bumping my camera because I have to reach really far. Okay, my 11 by 11. The stickers are very reflective. Um, by Yuxin, it's very good. It turns just like a, my 10 by 10, just maybe a little bit scratchier. Um, it's awesome. I will get the 13 by 13 soon. Just stay tuned for when I get that. Okay, now we're gonna go to cuboids. Cuboids. First cuboid here, three by three by one. Um, this is a super floppy cube, and uh, I forget what company it's by. I think it's by like Landland or something. Not sure, but um, yep, 
super floppy cube, shape shifts. That's whatever you really want it to do. It's just like a fun puzzle to solve. Three by three by two. Um, this is a good starter cuboid. However, I didn't start on this. Um, it's a really cool puzzle. It's really easy too. It teaches you the cuboid algorithms. This is also a really good starting cuboid, a three by three by four. Um, it turns good. This is cube for you. And the last one I think was land land as well. Um, this also teaches you good cuboid algorithms. Then this is the cuboid I started out with, the three by three by five. This one shape shifts obviously, and it's cube for you. Um, this is an amazing puzzle. It turns really good. This is one of my favorite puzzles. It corner cuts and everything. It's really good. Then I have my Wit Eden 3x3x6, um, just a regular old 3x3x6, nothing really bad about it except for the corner broke on it, and uh, but it still functions completely normal without the corner, you just have to remember what color the corner is. But yeah, pretty good puzzle, um, wish the layers were proportionate though, but it still looks amazing. 3x3x7, by cube for you that was Wit Eden if you didn't know that. Um, really, really, really swishy sounding cube, I really like the sound of this. And it's good for even 3x3 solves. Um, it turns good. doesn't really have anything wrong with it. It's not too much harder to solve than any other cuboids. 2 by 2 by 3 Really good puzzle for like $4 less. It's really good. turns good. Nothing really bad. It's just an average little cuboid. Kind of fun to solve. This is a Pi cube, but I leave it with my cuboids because it's a 3 by 3 by 2 shape mod. Um, it's kind of cool because you have to make up your own color scheme in a way, and it's really fun to solve, and you have to bend your perspective to figure out how to do it. At first, I was really stumped with that puzzle. Turns good. I think that's Land Land as well, and I have no idea what brand that it, that is. This is my IE 4x4x5. I'm getting the 5x5x4 as well. This one turns good. I only had one problem with it is the caps on this cube fall out all the time. So I had to glue them all in, and it like gets the pieces stuck because sometimes you over glue them. But it turns amazing. This is a really good turning puzzle. 4x4x5, four by four by and this is my 4x4x6 by, four by, by Calvin's. I just did a solve on this for my contest. If you haven't seen that, go check that out. I'm having a contest, or a giveaway, I guess you could say. This is a crazy puzzle. It's my favorite puzzle. It shape shifts amazingly, and it's just a really fun puzzle to solve. It's kind of expensive, but not really. And then this is my least favorite puzzle because I can't figure it out. The 2x4x6x by, by, by Hunter, and... Um, Calvin's, um, uh, yeah, Calvin's and Hunter. Um, it's pretty good. It turns good. I just don't know how to figure it out because I cannot figure it out no matter what I do. Okay, Skew puzzles. We have this Mo Yu Skew. Really good Skew. Um, this is my main, obviously. I'm not the fastest Skew solver out there, but um, I manage. I solve about ten seconds. Um, now that I learned intermediate, but um. Yep, just a little skew by Moyu. It's probably the best on the market, in my opinion. Then we have a Shang Shao skew in white. I was going to make this my main, but I don't know. I, I just didn't feel it. Um, it, does, it just doesn't turn as well as the Moyu. It's more clicky, but it's really good still. Land Land skew. Really good skew, but back in the day, but now it's kind of suckish. Just... It's the same price as the Shang Shao, so why don't you just get the Shang Shao? Okay, this is the Skube shape mod, the Squish Skube. Uh, it turns really cool, and this thing shape shifts like crazy. It's a really interesting looking puzzle once it starts to shape shift. And it was kind of hard to solve since the centers do have orientation. Same thing with this one. This is the Rhombic Skube, I think. Um, that one, last one was by Land Land, and this one's by Land Land as well. Um, this one has definitely has center orientation, three colors on each center, and it turns really good. This is one of the best turning puzzles I have, and it shape shifts as well. Okay, now we're going into the um, dodecahedron puzzles, or the minx puzzles. So we have, first, the fully stickered tear minx. Oh god, this thing was the biggest pain ever to sticker. I stickered it one by one sticker. And I have a couple sides time-lapsed, and I will put those up on my channel eventually. But this thing was ridiculous to sticker, and it's ridiculous to solve, too. Um, it turns really good once you add lube and loosen the tensions a bunch. When I got this out of the box, it turns so bad. But yeah, pretty expensive puzzle. It's uh, MF8. It's really good. 
definitely get this puzzle if you have the money. Then we have a MFA Gigamings. Um, didn't have to sticker that one, so that's better. Um, it turns pretty good. It's kind of stiff sometimes, but um, it's better than the Q for you one, <laughs> which crazy bad Q for shot. So, yep, pretty good puzzle. It's kind of expensive as well. Okay, regular old Mega Minx by Shang Shell. I'm gonna be getting the Diane one because I kind of want to get into Mega Minx because I, I kind of like it, but it's not my like favorite event. It's pretty good, pretty fast, corner cuts and everything. Oops, corner cuts and everything. Yep. Pretty good. And then, I don't know why this puzzle is scrambled right now. Um, someone in my school scrambled it. But it's the Pyramix Crystal Tiled, as you can see. Um, this cube, it's okay to turn. Um, but as you saw right there, that lockup happens all the time. But if you're just careful with it, it's very fun to solve. And I solved it a bunch today. I just It's just scrambled right now. I know how to solve it, obviously. Okay. Going into uh, Pyramid Puzzles or Tetrahedrons. So we have... First tetrahedron is the Professor Pyraminx. Um, this is one of my favorite puzzles. I don't know why I didn't put it in my favorite puzzle video because this thing is so fun. It turns really good. It's I don't know what company this is by. And the last one, I keep forgetting the companies to name them, Pyraminx Crystal by QJ. The tips turn really bad on this. I'm really not sure what the brand of this is. So yeah, the tips aren't that good. And uh, it's smooth and once you add lube to it, Okay, speaking of smooth, we have the Moyu Pyraminx. I don't have a Master Pyraminx, and I don't really want one. It never really appealed to me. This was my main for a little bit, uh, but I don't really like it that much anymore. It's too fast for me. I'm not that fast of a Pyraminx solver. I'm like seven seconds. Um, it corner cuts really good, I mean, for a Pyraminx. And reverse is pretty good for a Pyraminx. Um, the tips are awful quality, though. That's what really broke this puzzle for me, but... Um, it performs good for Imperiaminx for my speed, but I'm not really a big fan of that puzzle. So I have my Shang Shao Pyraminx, which I modded, as you can see, so that it can reverse corner cut. Um, this puzzle's clickier, and it's still amazingly fast, but it's better for my turning style and my speed as a Pyraminxer. The tips are amazing quality on that. Okay, then this is the Volcano Cube. By I'm not sure what company. I think it's Lan Lan or something like that. Um, it's basically a cross cube of pyraminx. It's really kind of complicated to solve, but it's easy once you get the hang of it. These turn really good. These turn really good. It's a really smooth puzzle with lube added to it, and uh, the tips are okay quality. Then we have okay. This isn't really a pyraminx puzzle, but it kind of looks like one. I'm going now we're gonna go into the realm of shape mods. I have more shape mods than any other type of puzzle because they are my favorite types of puzzles. Okay. This is a um it's a master morphics two by two, so it would be a pyromorphics. Yes, it's a Mosey Pyromorphix. It's really fun, shape shifting two by two shape mod. Um I really like this puzzle. It's really fun. Then we have a three by three master morphix. Um it shape shifts. Just a shape mod. Um, this is my first shape mod, like true shape mod with like the split centers and stuff. Um, it was really complicated for me to wrap my head around it at first, but now it's really fun and easy. Then we have the YJ Heart Cube. That last one was by Shang Shao. I keep forgetting the companies. Okay, YJ Heart Cube. This cube was really hard because you have to get the orientation right, but now it makes a lot of sense to me. Shape shifting turns amazing. Okay, same thing, sort of idea here. Star Cube by YJ. This one shape shifts even more and uh, turns even better than the heart cube, in my opinion. Really good puzzle. It's not solved. Hold on. <laughs> there we go. Then we have everyone's favorite. The cat cube by YJ. Um, this cube is so fun to solve and everyone loves it because it's amazing. It turns good and everything. Okay, next cube we have is the... Dianshang Blade Cube. This cube is amazing looking. It's um, shape shifts a lot, as you can see. Um, I really like this puzzle. It was one of my first shape mods, and it turns amazing once you add lube to it. Before, when I got this out of the box, it sucked. Oops. Okay, and now we have a Dianshang Shield Cube. Um, another shape mod. You know the drill. Turns good once you add lube to it. It's Dian Shang, really nice, really cool looking puzzle. Dian Shang Case Cube. 
Um, I thought these were split, but they're actually not. It's just a regular three by three. Like these can't come apart right here. I mean, like these can't come apart right there. Okay. But um, yeah, it's a really fun puzzle to solve, and uh, I enjoy it. It's it's a good time, and I don't know what I just did. <laughs> Hold on. There we go. Okay. And then once you get it back, it's pretty cool looking. Then we have a YJ windmill cube. I don't have a Fisher cube yet for some reason. This has reflective stickers on it. Interesting looking puzzle. Just a three, another 3x3 three three shape mod by YJ. It turns pretty good. Then we have a YJ axis cube. Same sort of deal. White. This one turns really good though. It's really smooth and uh, has like a sandy feel to it. Really good shape mod, one of my first ones. Really fun. Then we have this diamond cube by Landland. Um, this one doesn't shape shift at all, but um, it's kind of confusing and it's fun to solve. It's just a regular three by three shape mod. Then we have a QJ Mega Minx thing. I forget what it's called. Um, it turns really good and it's a shape shifting shape mod. You know the drill. It's a, just a shape mod and I like shape mods. It's fun. Then we have the Lan Lan or Dian Sheng or something um, UFO cube shape shifting puzzle looks like a UFO when it is solved, but it can shape shift and do cool moves like that. So yeah, it's a really fun puzzle. Um, like I say that for basically every puzzle, but they really are fun puzzles. Two by two mirror box. I consider this a shape mod, but uh, yep, uh, Fangy. Pretty good turn. Really good turning puzzle actually. Corner cuts and everything. Really good puzzle. Then we have a Shang Shao mirror blocks. This one's a really good turning puzzle as well. Um, I enjoy this. This is like my one of my first puzzles ever. Really good puzzle. I like the gold better than any other colors. Okay, then we have, I don't really classify this as a shade mod, but I put it with them. It's a void cube. You can experience parody. It's by Lan Lan and it turns really fast. It's like, yeah, it's it's just it doesn't corner cut or anything, but that's just a regular void cube. You can stick your finger through it and stuff. Okay, now this is the hardest shape mod I have, the four layered octahedron. Um, obviously octahedron because it has eight sides, but the hardest part about this is it's four layers. These are the centers, so you have to make your color scheme as you go along. Because see, if you turn that, it's still solved. Um, and it's just it's just a hard puzzle overall and the parry is extremely ridiculous Okay, moving out of shape mods. We have the Siamese cube from two Rubik's brands, which both turn pretty good I mean I can still do H perms on this one. Oops I made this obviously from two Rubik's brands um turns pretty good you can do stuff like oops, like this and stuff like this Really fun puzzle to solve. I really like it. It turned out pretty good. Then we have the uh, corner turning puzzles. So we have the Dino Cube by MF8 and Smaz. It's pretty good. Um, I don't, and it's just really simple puzzle to solve. Then we have an extension of that, the Rex Cube. So basically a Dino Cube with extended cuts in the middle for this flower pattern. And the only problem is that they come out really easily like that. But you can just finish your algorithm and then put the piece back in like that. So it's really easy. Okay, now we have the square one puzzles. So this is the cube twist square one. It's my main square one. It turns really good. It's really smooth. The only problem is if you try to like do anything crazy, it'll these pieces will pop. Like if you try to do a corner cut like this or something, I don't know. It pops pretty easily, but um, it's a pretty good puzzle. It's a lot of algorithms to solve. And then we have the Calvin Square 2, shape-shifting, ridiculous mess. Um, I really like this puzzle. It's pretty good once you add lube to it, but it's not that good of a puzzle overall. Then we have a Land Lang Curvy Copter. The Rex Cube, I, I think it was Land Lang Rex Cube. I keep reading these companies. A right, Curvy Copter, everyone knows the drill about the Curvy Copter. It's just an edge-turning puzzle that can jumble, and this one's by Land Lang. You can jumble it. And then you can shape shift it as well. If you didn't know that. Okay. Who wouldn't know that? Then we have one of my favorite puzzles. The Oscar, Van Daventer, and Wit Eden Mix-Up Cube. Um, it's a 3x3, three three, but it does moves like this. 
which will shape shift it and switch the centers and edges. And it can get into a pretty big mess and you have to reduce the whole thing. Then we have the worst cube in my collection, the iCube. If you saw JR Cuber's winning competition video or, or contest video, you'll know that this thing sucks and it's just a bad puzzle. Okay, gear puzzles. We have the regular old gear cube by I don't know what brand, probably like Landland or something. Um, this one turns really good. I love solving this gear cube. I'm pretty fast at it. If you watch my I challenge you to a dual episode, I think I get like a nine second solve on it. But it's a really fun puzzle. Um, yep, just a regular old gear cube. And we have the Oscar and Mefferts gear shift. Kind of expensive puzzle for what it is, but it's really fun looking and um, solving puzzle, I guess you could say. Um, yep, it does moves like that and like that. Um, pretty good puzzle overall. Fun puzzle to solve. Mefferts gear ball. Turns really good. You can hold the opposite or the center and turn the opposite side. Red KB made that clear. Um, it's a really fun puzzle to solve. It's just like a gear cube shape mod. More shape mods of gear cubes. You have this rhombic gear cube or something. Um, it's a regular gear cube, but the center is split, so it's just have to use simple algorithms. It's not that much harder than any other cube. This one's a little bit harder though. The Master Morphix, um, it shape shifts like crazy and it looks like a big mess and it bends your perspective, but once you get the hang of it, it's not too hard. Then we have one of my favorite gear puzzles, the Geared Pyraminx by Hishu. This thing is super fun to solve, except it turned pretty bad out of the box. But once you wear it in with a, a bunch of solves, it turns a lot better. Um, it's kind of a complicated puzzle to solve, but once you get the hang of it, it's easy, like all gear puzzles. And if you t take the opposite edges and twist them, you can turn every piece on the puzzle, which is pretty cool. Okay, these aren't twisty puzzles, but they are, um, they, well this one was a WC event. This is a Ling Lao clock. Um, I don't really do clock that much, but I average like 20 seconds or less than 20 seconds. Um, I'm, it's an okay puzzle. I don't really do it that much though. Oops. Okay. Then we have a Ling Lao Magic, Ling Lao Magic, something like that. Um, I love magic, and I probably will be getting some more magic, because I love solving magic. I'm not that fast. I'm like two seconds averaging, but I only got this a little bit ago, and I haven't really practiced. I really wish this was still a WCA event. It's still a really fun puzzle to solve. Okay. We yeah, have three more puzzles. Um, so I have to stand up to get them. This is a Rubik's Revolution. It's just a game. I don't really count it like as a puzzle, but you can push the buttons in the middle and stuff. It's really kind of a stupid pu like a game, whatever you want to say. Okay, now these are two big 3 by 3s We have the foot cube here. Um, it turns really good. It's just a regular 3 by 3 I thought this was big because like all the cubies are the size of this little keychain. But then... I got something a little bit bigger. This is the Hishu 3x3. I'm just gonna back up the camera a little bit just to get a full perspective on this puzzle. Okay, so here's the foot cube right next to it and it barely reaches two cubies. It doesn't even at all, actually. It turns amazing and each cube is about the size of a 4x4. So let me just put one right here. It's about the size of a 4x4. And you can fit all the way up to a 6x6 inside one of these spots. And it turns amazing. You can watch my review on it. It's a really fun puzzle to solve. So I hope you guys enjoyed my cube collection. I'm just giving you a scan of all of them. Look at all those cubicle cards in my window. And then there's me right there. <laughs> um, so, yep, there's uh, all my cubes. I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, tell me what you guys want me to do in the comments. There's the big 3x3. Uh, see you guys later. Bye.